baked lighting is amazing. You will understand why. It's because baked lighting doesn't render lighting in real time. After all, it simulates in a static manner that makes it highly optimized as it does not render new lighting every single frame but only renders once or else that would provide less performance. So we will be exploring a module created by Razer Boots. It's called Light Mapping and we will see how we can use this module to simulate big lighting. Alright, let's get started. Actually before we start, there's an error I found which I think I know how to fix it. It thinks that uh, the Bidenable event is not in an actor. So, the actor might, should be parented in the game.servascript service. So, it may work. Yeah, as you can see, it's working now. Before, it showed this error and the, and the mo module didn't emit the shadows. So, this is how the big lighting is simulating. As you can see, it is meticulously creating a future like shadows because it kind of looks like the future lighting. And when we see lighting, you might think it's future lighting, but in reality, it's voxel. As you can see in the deform pose, it was created using the technology set to voxel. Global shadows are set to false and all ambient values are set to a solid color. Lighting is kind of like how source engine works. For example, the color of each grid box in that grid is then calculated based on ray casting to light sources. So, go through the shadows, how they work. As you can see, they are using surface light surface ui so if i select all of these am i doing this select children as you can see it's it's uh, emitting shadows in a red manner i believe this is a pbr texture as you can see it is perfectly it is actually perfectly emitting the light so well but however on this side, it doesn't emit the light really well. It does have its own limitations. For example, it does not have the ability to cast shadows in real time. But I have tried using this module a bit and played around. I didn't find a way to cast shadows in real time. So that's why the module is not used by a lot of people. Otherwise, it, it is very good at performance. As you can see. I am getting 144 FPS, which is actually mind blowing. If you're wondering how you would execute this module, there's a script that is executing. So there's some functions that are being used. Let's go through them one by one. So firstly is render top map, which is actually rendering the top of the part. Then render bo bottom map which is also, which is casting shadow on the bottom part. You get the idea, what are these functions about? These are for specific uh, surface areas. And the other function that is already being used for, for rendering the scene, render all surfaces function. And the next function is render specific surfaces, which is actually done on the walls here. If you run the game, and let me turn on the FPS counter. As you can see, the light is not being rendered here, but just here. If I stop the game, this would stay the same. Yeah, as you can see, it's still the same. It has only emitted shadows from here, which makes it highly optimized. These are all the main functions that are being used in this script. Yeah, then we can see the save function is being used here for the floor. And then lastly, we need to see lighting. The light sources are being added to a table so that it would work. 
If you're wondering how you can use this module for other parts, firstly, you can create a part, then uh, put it in the scene, and then you can try to test the game. As you can see, it's working perfectly. Light is being illuminated really well. If you try to render the lighting from here, that would also work. Yeah, it still works like this also. When we try to render the light, lighting, it properly renders everything. As you can see, the light is rendered properly for this. But when you try to move the position, the lighting doesn't change because the light is not being simulated in the real time. That's why it's not uh, changing the, the shadow casts. It's not being influenced by the environment when it's being uh, moved away. So now that we know, what if I put it here? As you can see, the light is still illuminating properly. If, for example, if I put the part there, it should be, it should be casting the shadow like this. So this was the result I was actually expecting from here. The red light is not illuminating in here properly. So for here, it is working really well. Let me tell you some of the limitations of this modding. For example, if I get the rig of a character. It's going to be right here. That's good. Rotate it to look towards the light. Okay. Now, instead of our, this part, we will put R6 because the mod, model name is R6. And you can just delete this and then test the game. As you can see, the limitations are when, the me when there's a mesh involved in it. You can see the grid boxes of it, which makes it look weird. As if I remove the mesh, as you can see, the light is being illuminated properly. Whereas when it's a mesh, it doesn't illuminate lights properly. For example, if I go for a mesh, for a mesh car, for example, it wouldn't, it would be a grid box. And then we will change this to mesh part. See, see, I told you the it would uh, illuminate a grid box like this. I think there's still ways to do it. They are right now unknown. If you have reached this part, please make sure to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button. And I also need to talk about something because I'm actually creating a game called Operation Assault which is being worked on for three years. If you watch this video on the screen, 